Well, having stayed up rather late to watch the US presidential debate, I have some thoughts on it. Um, Kamala Harris came across as far more confident than Joe Biden. However, I wonder if that very confidence could be her undoing. She came across as far more academic and measured than Donald Trump. I get the feeling the American people are not really interested in measured intelligence discourse and have with a general dumbing down of not just America, but of Western Europe and the UK as well, which is swiftly embracing that whole dumbed down model. That a figure like Kamala Harris who tries to explain things in a thought out way and a, and a measured pace is going to be far less exciting than Donald ranting on about windmills and the end of the world. Um, I will say Kamala did manage to wind him up quite a lot. That could work for and against her as well. Those who support her will see it as an example of Donald's unhinged tendencies and tendencies to fly off the the fly off the end of a broomstick at, at the moment's notice when wound up. On the other hand, some people will say that she's winding him up and it just shows how horrible it is. Donald did engage in a lot of personal abuse, as as is his one, right right up to him saying Kamala Harris was putting out and was a Marxist and all sorts of other rubbish. The problem is we no longer think in a nuanced way and just saying someone's dad is a Marxist or a, Mar- a professor of Marxist economics is enough still in many, in Amer- many places in America to rend them off the table for voting. Um... It's well worth watching if you've got the time. 90 minutes of them going back and forth. There have been complaints about the moderators being too friendly to Kamala. I'm not sure I agree with that. Not, I, I think I thought they were remarkably, you know, tolerant of some of Donald's nonsense, which should have been slapped down. The personal insult should have been addressed and controlled. But it's Donald. We all know he's like that. Let's see what happens after the next two months. I'm... Really hoping we don't have Donald Trump back there again, ranting and raving and uh, in his usual bizarre style.